now i will tell about my uh, journey about what i did uh, on the last 3 months of my preparation hi everyone myself tejesh mol i secured rank 49 in kda 2025 currently i am in isc pursuing mtech in signal processing uh, i am making this video because this time of the year is very crucial for any gate aspirant as there might be a little bit of excitement uh, watching campus videos or daydreaming about living in the campus of your preferred college or there might be a little bit of fear panic irritation as you see your friends or family is going into trips or parties but it's fine it's completely normal and you are not the only one who are having these feelings do not let it ruin it it's just a phase of this preparation and it will pass on so do not let it ruin the work which you have been doing from the past 3 to 4 to 5 months All right uh okay so now less than 3 months is there for the d day and i hope major part of the syllabus is covered All right even if it is not it's fine it's completely fine you still have sufficient time to complete everything but what should not be compromised is missing full length mock test full length mock test is very crucial very mandatory for completing the gate preparation right any full length mock you can give give it at this time of time many coaching institutes will start organizing all india mock test find it register it and give it doesn't matter if your syllabus is not complete doesn't matter if your revision is not complete do not wait for it give it why because uh these full length mock test what they do is what why are they beneficial because uh the major challenge a student face during the exam is to sit through those 3 hours with constant focus it's much challenging and many students don't realize it another thing is that you need to know you have been you have been preparing for this last 3 to 4 months but you need to know where you where do you stand in this world, in this country what is your position this full length all india mock test let you know it's fine if you are not uh, if you don't get good enough scores not get disappointed by it but it's crucial to know your weaknesses and this full length mock test is made for that only right it might happen that uh, you think of a subject as your strength but it can happen that one of the test will make you realize that some of the concepts in that subject you didn't completely understand and now you know your weakness so you have sufficient time to prepare for it this is the point of giving the tests they are not there to judge you they are not there to judge you based on your marks or your ranks they are just meant to tell you about your weaknesses there will be many mock test you can give one prepare for the next give that prepare for the another one give that prepare for the next one and so on you will realize that with each mock test you are better prepared than before this is the main this is the crux this is the major part of the preparation of gate exam so do not miss the chance of do not miss the opportunity of this mock test whenever they, you you see there is a all india mock test happening register it give it now i will tell about my uh, journey about what i did uh, on the last 3 months of my preparation so may, by mid december major part of my syllabus were completed uh, la calculus and optimization ml probability uh, some parts of dsa dbms yeah uh, what was left was some parts of dsa ai uh, statistics uh, data warehousing these concepts <coughs> i didn't cover uh, by mid december but uh, i didn't worry about those concepts and i started giving test on a daily basis from mid, mid december uh, topic wise subject wise whatever test i could find whether i gave it beforehand or not whether i attempted it before or not whether i got good marks before or not i attempted it doesn't matter i attempted it on daily basis i divided my day in three parts uh first part was giving test and analyzing the analyzing the test second part was revising the learned concepts third part third part was uh, learning new concepts to cover my syllabus the two months last two months january february i only did these three things for the whole day and it was very advantages for me i'll tell you how why many students uh, whose syllabus is completed or their revision is completed try to mellow it down relax a bit so that is an, that is not a good sign 
Why? Because in the last two months, you need to constantly refresh uh, what you have learned before. Otherwise, you'll forget the concepts. You'll not, uh, uh, even if you remember the concepts, it will take time. And the gate exam is all about time. You need to manage the time. So you need to cons constantly revise the concepts which you have learned before so that you don't take time to remember it again. It should be in your, like, you see the question and you know what concepts to use. Because my syllabus was not completed, my revision was not completed, I did not waste time. I consistently did what I wanted to do. And that gave me an edge. After each mock test, I could see my progress. I'll tell you how. Uh, I remember AMT1 was in the last week of December and I scored 73 out of 100 in it. I did not expect this marks honestly. Uh, when we got the result, I analyzed full test, question by question. Even if I, the question which I have attempted, the question which is correct, I did it again. The question which I attempted, I did it again. The question I did not do or I was not able to do or I did not know, I tried to reason it why I was not able to do it during the exam. Was it the time constraint? Was I not able to recollect the concept? Did I not know the concept? I analyzed it completely and based on what the uh, analysis was, I tried to rectify it in the next test. My major flaw was silly mistake. <clears throat> and my silly mistake was even sillier than silly mistake. I realized that in some of the questions I read the data wrong. In some of the questions I did not read the question completely. These kind of silly mistakes I used to do. In that AIMT1, I did silly mistakes worth 16 marks. So that was very bad for me. I realized that this was the major flaw in my preparation. Second thing which was flawed was time management. Uh, it happens that when you try to solve a question and you are stuck in it, you don't realize and 10 to 12 minutes get passed. That is not right. In gate exam, you are supposed to give a maximum of three minutes per question. So, and you don't even know when, when that 10 minutes get passed, you don't realize that when you are attempting to, when, when you are attempting a question, uh, that you have to manage. That was my problem as well. So I kept off, kept on giving test. I try to man, I only try to manage two things. One, silly mistake. Second was time management. <coughs> and I, honestly, this full length test helped me a lot in that. I gave around six AIMTs by go classes, uh, three full length mock test, some other test by other institutes also. And in the six AIMTs, which I gave, my score was around 70 to 90. It was in that range. Uh, rank was less than 20 ish. Uh, yeah. But the point I'm making is that do not think of a full length mock test as that they are ready to, that they are there to judge you based on the marks. No, they are not. They are there to let you know that what you need to work on in this last two months. And it's not about the concepts also. It might be something which you are not even aware of. Like for my case, it was not the concepts, it was, it was not the syllabus, it was the time management and the silly mistakes. And there is no way to know these two things apart from giving test. So my advice to all the future aspirants is to keep giving full length mock test, keep giving the subject wise, topic wise test for the concepts, keep revising the subjects and keep on learning. All the best.